to Queer Zone. I'm here with the, I'm Ian by the way, and I'm here with the ever-fragrant Jacqueline of Joy FM fame. This is the face behind the microphone. They say it should never be on television, but here I am. And tonight we've got some weird and some wonderful things to show you. Weird, wonderful. Yeah, we've got a big gay grab bag of goodies for all you lucky viewers out there, haven't we Jacqueline? We do at that, Ian. And to start? And to start, oh, we've got a story about girl bar. It's a little bit depressing, actually. It is depressing. Girl bar closed. Mm. But we had cameras down there, didn't we? That's right. Picking up, all, um, the picking up all the tears that got shed. So did you like girl bar? I mm. used to go there on a Friday night. Yes, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was fantastic. But, you know, if you do clubbing two nights in a row, it then tends to take its toll. It does, it does. But who can get enough? And what about right. yourself? Did you used to head out on a, on a Friday night too? Or? Oh, no, I've never actually been to Girl Bar. Friday nights is not a big clubbing night for me, actually. No, what do you tend to do? Yeah. Any suggestions well, for our viewers out there? On a Friday night? Yep. Well, whatever you like. Stay home, watch TV. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't actually watch TV on Fridays. It's pretty shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to say Mondays, that. Mondays, Mondays. <laughs> Mondays is the night. Um, <laughs> If you come in here, apparently you can't get out alive. It's a very glamorous set. Behind us, I think you can get a lovely shot of the curtains. Are they from your own home, Kira? Yes, yes. That's um, a spare one we have. Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany who? Now I want to ask basically, is this the end of Girl Bar or is it just the last in a series? It's at the end of Subway. It's um, going to be turned into apartments next week, but um, Girl Bar won't be finished for a long time. Probably two or three of us are dead, I would imagine. But um, we've got a new venue lined up, but um, we're not giving that away right now because we're you know, waiting until all the contracts are signed, sealed and delivered. But um, we certainly won't be going away for long. We'll probably have about three weeks holiday and get straight back into it with a better and bigger venue. Okay, so there's no hints as to where this venue might be. Come on. No. <laughs> the thing is, what I also want to ask is some serious questions. Because is this just a house of fun? Are we just here to sort of have fun and dance? Or do you see yourself as having some responsibility to the wider gay community? Oh, well, we offer um, counselling, Chinese cupping, massage, tarot reading, dance lessons. So what are your spiritual needs are catered for? But seriously, I mean, if somebody wants to come here to meet people, somebody from the suburbs, say, who doesn't get out a lot, doesn't have a lot of um, contact with the community... Yeah, it's possible for a lot of relationship get-togethers and certainly a lot of breakups as well. But, um, um, you know, we try to keep everyone happy, really. Um, the good thing is that there's always a good mixture of boys and girls here. You know, now and then we get the odd straight girl in, but they usually leave home pretty much bisexual by the time the night's over. So you're out there turning people? Well, they're turning themselves, so um, good on them, I say. But how can you meet people when there's like really lo lo loads of loud music and... Well, we've always had, you know, the beauty of having different areas, you know, we've had, like, always had the cinema, always had a quieter room, the main room, and, and different types of music in all different areas. So there's always somewhere to talk, you know. Do you feel powerful? Do you feel powerful? You sort of... You're running the venue, so therefore, you know, you set the image, you set the tone. Not powerful, responsible. Responsible. No, not the time. What are your roles here? Like, Gracie, are you in charge of, of the department here? I am the hostess. I make sure you can have a drink. Make sure everyone's having a good time. That's very important. So, introduce everyone to each other and get a couple of relationships out of it. 
you? Has it done your sex life any good? I mean, do you, do you, do you keep the best specimens for yourself and pass on the ones you don't like to? No, I don't. committing herself to anything. But do you think that um, you've changed the face of, you know, perhaps a lesbian image over the last few years? Yeah, we feel we have. Gobar's aim was to, um, solely to bring the community together. Segregated bars, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a need for them out there in a, I think in a really small way these days. Uh, the community is growing strong, they're growing together, they're enjoying each other's company, and I think that's just a positive thing, you know? want to be straight in these days and times, eh? Hey? Exactly, I mean, that's the whole reason why we did this, you know, we were sick of going out and sitting in bathrooms and pubs and treating badly and, you know, there's a lot of violence in the gay community and we like to think that we've put it up like, and made sure that people feel welcome and whoever they are. What do you do if there's ever a situation here, like if anything gets out of hand, do you want it, like... We've all got radios, so we all know what's going on in here around the area. There's always some good four to five security on throughout the building, so you know we've got a good idea of who's in control and who isn't. You know, and you might all gay venues are being the least violent and any clubs in Australia or the world for that matter. The main problems you've had is mainly, you know, girlfriends and boyfriends breaking up and you think they've got the right to throw things at each other and um, you know we've got to start that. Do you think that the girls are inter as interested in casual sex? Because you've got like mazes and rope rooms, etc. Do you think that the girls get into it as much as the boys? We've got video footage to prove it. Oh, maybe. No, we haven't. I deny everything. Maybe that's going to go on the auction. The video footage. It's funny, you know, because it's like we had a great maze. We've always had a great maze in every venue we've been in, and it took us two years to get the girls in there, and now every venue we move to, it's the first thing they ask for. So obviously, someone's using it. Well, I don't know that I will, but I'm English. <laughs> I've never been in there and I bet you haven't got the video footage to prove it. Anyway, is there anything else that you think you want to tell the community out there? Oh, nice to meet you, I say. How warm and fluffy. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Have a good night. Let's find Gilbert now at Ian? Barracuda. That's right. Still on Friday nights mm -hmm. and going strong. In fact, we had a camera team down there who did, who filmed the opening night of the new, the reopening, the re reincarnation. It's bigger and it's better, it's new, it's improved, and uh, you'll see that coming up in Queer Zone in another episode. But so now, here's classic Rodney. That's right, Paul Man's Bart Simpson. <laughs> So that was a classic episode of Rodney, just to refresh your memory. That was fantastic, I haven't even seen yeah. it before. Well, it's been on once before, it was, it was actually requested quite a lot. And we've got but the new adventures of... Demand. Well, that one was, but <laughs> coming up later, we've got the new adventures of Rodney, so stick around for that one. Fantastic. Coming up now, we've got Open Page, and our special guest for Open Page tonight is Daniel. Daniel, thanks so much for coming in and joining us. I know you're a very okay. busy person, you're flat out, but here you are. And what have you got for this evening? I've actually got a few books, but... Because mm -hmm. you you're an avid reader, aren't you? I read the covers and decide that I don't like the book and then don't read it. I That's do that what too. I quite judge a bit. By its cover as but well. um, I've actually got a few books in which I've found. I judge at home. videos by the cover as well. Well, it's just, yeah, it's just a waste of time watching them, you know. 
you just look at the camera well, and then you can dispense with whatever you right put. why read the book when you can watch the movie why Absolutely. watch the movie when it says everything on the back cover <laughs> so um, save a lot of that's time. why you're in tv <laughs> you don't read books <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> anyway you've got a couple of books there for us I've got three a few that you've started and haven't quite finished found laying around at home Mm -hmm. The first one is actually Mother Tr Daily Prayer with Mother Teresa. Now, I might actually read out the Daily Prayer for today. I've just got to find notes. The only one I know November. is, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The second you know? day, if we join the community outside our own country or are sent on a mission, we shall freely choose to be there Happy to suffer and die with the people if need okay, arises. Okay, moving right along. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much so. That was pretty okay, inspiring. Great lady though, great lady. Very inspirational but very boring TV. Yeah. Go on. Uh, this next one, American Nervousness 1903. I mean, like, the cover just says it all. It is a boring book, Steve? I think. It probably What's it all would about? Be. I wouldn't have a clue and I really don't care less to find out mm -hmm. either. Well, maybe it's about pre-Prozac America. I don't American know. It would look good on the coffee table, though, I think. That it's one of those book. books that you'd have to look good, make you look smart, good and you wouldn't image? read. Absolutely. Pretty much that's yeah. it. And you can frequently say, oh, you know, American Nervousness, because you're asked about like it's blankly but obvious. But it's 1903, too old. Okay, fine. Anyway, this moving next along, one I have is something more contemporary? Well, it's called Girl. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, one of my sister's books or something. But Which is I why it's pink on the, the front cover. I just thought the blurb on it was just so said a lot about quite a few of our Bent TV volunteers in particular. I found myself talking to him in my head, and of course I wanted to see him again, but what could I do? Go to his house? What if it was just a one night stand? Which probably it was. But couldn't we still be friends? And if we were friends, couldn't we maybe have sex again? That's our old Harry Met Sally scenario, isn't it? I just it? think Can that says a lot about a few Bent... T that's just... What if quite a few bent TV volunteers I'd be mm -hmm. think would be saying, and quite a few of our quite a few other people out there in the community. Anyway, um, so it's a wrap as far as books go from you. That's it for me from well, about for books, nothing. but I've got, got more things later on. Yes, <laughs> but you've got your book. Our book and ours is um, beautifully positioned on the coffee table where any good book should be. And you've got um, one book between the two of you. That's right. We're reading it together, yes, page by page. <laughs> so he reads the left page, I read the right page. It <laughs> works beautifully. We haven't got to the back page yet, though, have we? Although you've well, been I, trying I, to flick. He's a faster reader than no. me. He's very I tedious. If you're ever going to read a book with anybody, you want you don't want a speed reader. Well, well I've, I've snuck ahead and I've actually finished this book loaded. Congratulations. Is, <laughs> it's quite different from the well, film, I'm actually. Well, i the film. Quite there you different. go. Well, the film's a bit, I don't know, the book's a bit as well. It's like, yeah, not really. You know the most shocking thing about it's this book? When I read about the author, I discovered, to my horror, he went to the same school as me, Blackburn High School. Christos Sissiopoulos. Yes, born in Melbourne. Sorry? Chialkas. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, was born in Melbourne in 1965, went to Blackburn High School. So there you have it. Lives in Collingwood with his lover, is a supporter of the Richmond Football Club. It just gets more and more shocking, doesn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, and anyway, the book's not that good, I don't think. I mean, it's well written. And you want to support your local... A bit. I remember he used to edit the um, student union newspaper at Fargo, uni when I was at right. uni. Mm -hmm. And mm. never liked his stuff much then. So there you um, go. <laughs> we recommend you don't read this This is an improvement book. on that. Um, but I think a lot of people can probably relate to the protagonist. All he wants to do is dance, take drugs, have sex and change the world. Maybe people don't want to change the world out there, but you can do the other three. There you go, quite easily. And if you want any um, insights into how to do that, then maybe Loaded is definitely the book for you. Something so else to say? Sorry. And unfortunately, I don't think we really have the time, but rummaging in my parents' cupboard, I also found something else. Big old-fashioned CDs. Fantastic, you could eat off that. Now, they don't actually fit in the CD player, though, so I don't know how you play them. Mm -hmm. But um, Put it in the microwave. And it will shrink, shrink. or the oven maybe. But just the really, thing. really quickly, can I just. Akabilk. Classic. Classic. Now, classic that vinyl. Is parents, obviously. But I have more to show you another time. Stay okay. tuned. So, we hope you enjoyed those few words from our sponsors. What have we got up next, Jacqueline? Konnichiwa, Ian. <laughs> Kamishua <laughs> Jacqueline. Yes, now um, we have a competition, and the competition is, is the Mr. and Miss Lotus competition for our Asian friends out there, part of the um, thriving multicultural society Melbourne is today. And uh, you can actually check out the Star Hotel, which is Lotus Night, none other. 
Lotus Note, what night? Um, Wednesday night. Um, check it out if you're Asian descent or um, if you want to. Hi, my name is Shirin C. Queen. We are at a Star Hotel and tonight we're going to see who is going to become um, Mr. Lotus 1998. What's your name, darling? Vanessa. Vanessa. How do you feel so when you're doing the swimming uh, costume just now? It's different. How are you, Melissa? Very good. You a bit nervous tonight? Very nervous. Very nervous. Yeah. You reckon you get a chance tonight? Mm, could be in with a slight chance. Hello. How you feel tonight, darling? Oh, I have a very, very good time tonight. You reckon you got a chance 50-50 tonight? Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Ken? Hi there, I'm fine. How lovely to see you. You're good. Oh, look at this. Fabulous. Oh, no, no, Shireen, it's falling apart as we speak. All it's right. very fragile. Mm. I'm doing um, history repeating. All right. But okay. I tell you what, because I, I only know about three numbers, but you, you on the other hand, bring out a new number every time and the competition is far too strong. <laughs> I'm beautiful as always. <laughs> are you going to do a number for tonight, are you? Of course. Uh, Shirley Bassey, of course. How are you, Brad? I'm well, Shireen. How are you? You look very busy. I am. I'm yeah. trying to get everyone organised and make the show run smoothly. Oh, that's good. What do you find about a uh, contestant tonight? Oh, it's great. It's really good. Every year it's getting better and better, I think. Oh, you know. Okay. And I was just saying to uh -huh. Kyla before that it's fantastic because it's been... Uh, you know, about five years or six years that we've all been together, me right, and you uh -huh. and Sandy and uh -huh. uh, and Kyla yeah. and uh, Sahara, yeah. mm -hmm. everyone. It's yeah. been really great. How you feel tonight, darlings? Um, yeah, it's good night, you know. Last year, last year only five contestants. This year we got 10, mm -hmm. 11. Mm -hmm. It was a successful night. Do you know about this great big little world just alone me all by my contestants tonight. Very impressed. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now, first prize is $200 cash. <laughs> you already won it. <laughs> okay, so first prize from Miss Lotus 1998 will be going to... I feel like I'm the Academy Awards. <laughs> Miss Sonia! Congratulations to Miss Sonia from Thailand. 
Thank you for being such a great audience. Everybody know that my father has a Porsche. I'm in the new adventures of Rodney. I've just dropped my pen. <laughs> um, that, that was pretty good. Shooting, shooting bullies is an extreme but pretty effective response. I think it's the know. only way. It's the Australian way because you don't want to be a dobber. There's right. nothing worse than being a dobber. So I reckon, yep, shoot them. Absolutely. Right. But in the head. Or you can maim them. What do you reckon? The leg, maybe? Well, I don't think we should be advocating people to go out and shoot each other. I mean, there may be kiddies watching kiddies. It's not good. Don't go and shoot people, even if they're calling your names. But don't be a dobber. And we've got a special guest back again, haven't we? We have, it's Daniel. Just can't I'm get him up, here. Daniel. <laughs> there he is, rotting away over in the chair. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We just forgot to remove him when we went out for the right. show. That's right. Oh, God, he's here anyway. May as well have another chit-chat. Yeah. So, um, I'm just going to talk about a few new things, which, and the ways that people out there can help us with Queer Zone. Um, mm -hmm. As you may, some of you who were watching last week may realise, we're actually after new music for Queer Zone. Normally we've used... What was wrong with the old music? Uh, that's well-known music. We're after sort of like new music, un unfound talent we're basically after. Mm -hmm. If you've cut a CD and you want it played as background music on television, we're happy to do that. During our studio things, right now we could have your music playing in the background. So And at the moment, we've, silence is basically gold. We've got music. silence, mm -hmm. yeah. So <laughs> Otherwise, we might have mm -hmm. to... <laughs> the thing is, we could be playing stuff like this. A swinging safari. Yeah. Safari suits are back, you know. Bob Down brought them back. Mm. Are they? They're okay. big for summer. Capri that pants. That doesn't look too bad, actually, that mm -hmm. swinging safari. I think it looks pretty hip, actually. Well, there's lots of people out there the who are That'll be the next sort of outfit, I think. Away from the cowboy look, into the swinging safari look. <coughs> Absolutely. Mm. There's lots of people out there who are making music, and we'd love to give you a show. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're making, if you've made short queer films and you want them shown, um, we can put them into Queer Zone or possibly even into our own short film um, show. So we're looking for new shows. If you've got short films, we can put them together and make a whole show out of them. So um, they can also be sent to Bent TV. You can call us at the office and regarding the that. The number um, um, the, just you the Bent TV office. You can look it up yourself. You can look it up. That's stupid. <laughs> 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 you don't have to do it yourself. And we are always on the lookout for new volunteers and for new, as well, aren't we? and for new yeah. volunteers too. We can but, um, Spit massages, you name it, we'll take them. Whatever yeah, your so we're after new volunteers up. who are interested in um, volunteering for Bent TV. You can do stories. Um, 
you can help in the studio at pretty much anything. We regularly run volunteer inductions. Right. So come along. Thanks, Daniel. Back to us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's it. too early. That's why we we're supposed to go for an additional 30 seconds. It was the two and a half because it was on Louise's camera and I was holding it up to that. No, it was up for long enough. I saw it on the screen. But Lauren, if it ever gets cut like that, just roll the credits. Don't worry about counting down. You've got to roll it. <laughs> oh. Are they going okay now, though? Okay. You're on, Darren, and yeah. we're getting feet. Sorry? Mm. It's not good. No. <laughs> That's why I kept uh -huh. talking. Who cares? <laughs> That's why I kept talking, because I thought we had the additional 30 seconds. Because I was watching.